Hey fam, it is your girl, the one and the only spicy, and I'm back today with another pick a card reading. I hope that you all are doing well. I hope that you're enjoying your week. I am so happy it is the weekend, so I definitely hope that you all are able to get some rest, to enjoy some time with yourself, or even enjoy time with your family and loved ones. But yes, I'm also very excited and grateful to be here doing another reading for you all today. So yeah if you are new here welcome and if you are returning i want to give you all a special welcome back as per usual and if you have not subscribed definitely make sure you go ahead and click that button and join the fam today because i promise you will love it here also check out the links in the description box as well so y'all the question that we're getting into today that we're asking spirit is what did the Lionsgate portal activate for you. So what did the Lionsgate portal activate for you? Just to let y'all know, the Lionsgate portal actually is not yet closed. It's supposed to be closing up on August 12th. So essentially you still have time to float with the momentum and the energy of just what is presently going on. If you want some more information about the Lionsgate portal, I would definitely say get on Google and or even, you know, browse around on this platform. There's going to be plenty of information here, but I just love the fact that it occurs during Leo season because as y'all know, I'm a Leo. So I just love being creative, confident, and also very self-expressive. And that's like typically the general energy that you will experience during this time okay so the lion's gate portal is just really nice because you can just focus on manifestation you can focus on like setting intentions and you can also focus on like letting some things go that are outdated and no longer apply to you okay that could be like limiting beliefs habitual patterns, behaviors, you know? So I definitely love this time. So yeah, this is what we're getting into today. Like, so if you are new to pick a card readings and you don't really know how this reading goes, you can take a look at the three different pile options that you have in front of you. So for pile one, we have the Stardust Tarot with the Pyrite Crystal. Pile two, we have the Ethereal Visions Luna Edition Tarot deck with the Rose Quartz Crystal. And then for pile three, we have the Radiant Wilds tarot deck with the citrine crystal so yeah just pause the video right now if you need to take a look at the three different pile options then you're going to go to the description box scroll down to the timestamp and you're going to click the timestamps that correlate with the pile or the piles that you have chosen and i will see you at your reading all right, my pile one people, if you chose the Stardust Tarot with the Pyrite Crystal, then of course I'm going to go ahead and get started with your reading for today. But I also want to just say welcome again to all the new viewers and to my lovely returning subscribers. I want to continue to give y'all just an amazing welcome back. I'm just so grateful for you all just being here, engaging with me, engaging with my content. And as I say all the time, I'm just going to continue to keep doing my best and showing up and posting even more videos and just being able to support y'all so because y'all really do support me like y'all really do and I'm just grateful to be here really I'm grateful to be here so thank y'all so much if you have not subscribed go ahead and just click that button and join the fam today also check out the links in the description box as well and there are just so many ways that you can support or donate to this channel there's just so many ways so i would just say you know click around get nosy you can also check me out on social media as well if you would like to follow me over there and just continue conversations so it's really just up to you check out the community tab because i'm going to be dropping more content there as well so hey like <laughs> just get into it but yeah let's go ahead and get into this reading because in addition to this stardust tarot i also have like four other oracle decks over here as well so yeah <laughs> i can talk okay i can talk i really can so let's just go ahead and get started we're asking spirit today pile one what did the lion's gate portal activate for you what did the lion's gate portal activate for you and i think i want to start with like what aspect of your life was the most affected i feel like this could be i feel like this could be something that you are consciously aware of but also it can be things that you are unconsciously aware of or even things that are kind of going on in your subconscious so let's just go ahead like so you all got the high priestess which is nice we also have the five of cups here 
at the high priestess we have the five of cups now i like this energy for you because i feel like you are definitely like how i said this could be going on in like your conscious mind or just even something subconscious that's going on i feel like this is a very conscious thing for you i feel like you completely know what is going on in your circumstance and situation i don't feel like you're lost i don't feel like you're still trying to figure things out i just feel as though you're in a very explorative place in your life right now okay i think this is something that was activated it's like even more of a deeper research to try to figure out what i mean wtf is going on okay because i was about to say what the he double hockey sticks is going on like i feel like that is your main goal and purpose right now like you're really just trying to get to the heart of the matter and i love this because this is a very this is very much of a like a putting yourself first type of energy it's like you're completely relying on yourself and it's nothing to it's it's not saying that like oh if someone didn't have some helpful information for you that you wouldn't listen but i feel like you're giving yourself the opportunity and the chance to rely and depend on yourself and i don't think there's nothing wrong with that i feel like that's something that we need to do oftentimes what i'm just picking up is like being able to cut through the distractions okay cutting through all of the noise the white noise the uncertainty i feel like that's what's going on with you right now so yeah, this is amazing. I feel like your sense, your intuition and your your sense of self and just making it make sense is definitely something that was affected the most. And I feel as though even though your personal life circumstances may not be where you want it to be or you may not have the support or the resources, you may not have the people around that you may want or feel like you need at this point right now, especially to get to the next level is like, the thing that I can definitely say about you is that you're having a better understanding of what is going on. It's like, I feel as though when like things occur and happen in life, it's like, we always are questioning. It's like, why, 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 like why? And it's oftentimes it's like just going with the flow. It's not even having the understanding, but I feel like you're developing the understanding now for why things are happening at the pace in which it's happening why you may not have the resources right now even though it could be very disheartening okay like so what you're dealing with right now is not an easy thing it's not something that a lot of people make it through you know it's not but i feel as though it's okay because you are just learning more about yourself is essentially what i'm trying to say right like, you're learning more about yourself so i think it's it's okay like it's all right. So yeah, we also have the Ace of Wands here as well. Like this is nice. I feel like you are just, I feel like your creativity is even taking it back to the intro. Like this is Leo season that we in right now. So, you know, I feel as though your creativity is really like jumping off right now. Like I just feel like your life has been a certain way for some time this cycle that you've been in it has it's not fate it's not like favorable okay like it's not something that you would choose for yourself especially dealing with financial issues or probably feeling like you're estranged from people or feel like you're doing things on your own or you're even suffering like that's not something that someone would choose but i feel like through that suffering you all have literally it's like you're so resourceful you're so resourceful it's like through that suffering it hasn't even stopped you because now you're just looking at things in a new perspective now you're just developing new ideas okay you're being very inspired at this point in time like you know you're experiencing your own new beginning per se like you could have become passionate about some new things or just re i want to say like revamped or even revisited some passions as well some things that you can really actually tap into to make yourself feel a lot much more happier like the word i heard was wholesome but i feel like i'm i feel like it's directed more so in the direction of like e your emotions like making yourself happy making yourself feel better so yeah like you all are definitely like what's activated for you like yeah your situation might be what your situation is like but i love the fact that you have more faith in yourself you're relying more and um you're relying more on yourself is basically what i'm trying to say and now you just are coming up with all of these new and bright ideas and you're really tapping into 
you're really tapping into you know things that you are passionate about like you could even have just some you know a new vision for your life at this point in time because you've been kind of trucking along and going at this like you know for some time so it's just like it's amazing it just seems like through your struggles is like you still rise like through your struggles is like not having a lot maybe having less than what you would like is like you're being so resourceful like just new things are popping off because you're doing what you can with what you have like and what you have is yourself like so i'm not mad i'm really 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 not mad like yeah, so we also have the Nine of Wands. Let's see what else. We have the Moon. Okay, I like this for you because I just feel like you can't, you're not holding yourself back. It's like, this is what the activation did this is the activation it's like you're not holding yourself back and like i said you are literally trying to research this is just a confirmation it's like you're trying to research and get to the heart of the matter and just like i said in the beginning it's like this could be a unconscious thing it could be a conscious thing it could be a subconscious thing it's like this is where you're at right now at this point in time and one of your biggest challenges that you are trying to figure out at this point in time is like what beliefs are limiting you like what is really truly getting in the way of your financial security and stability like this is a big thing for you right now and it's like you are really trying to get to the core and the crux of the matter so i love this I feel like you all are being very like resilient. I feel like you're just trying to persevere. I feel as though your journey has just incurred a lot of bumps and bruises along the way. I also feel like you could be you could have been very like ridiculed by other people or just having to listen to the opinions of other people, just what other people have to say about you. You even I feel like at a certain point in time just did what other people told you to do and what i like about you is is like even though you realize you realize that like listening to other people was not the best thing like you've been hurt like you've lost things you've experienced a lot of criticism like even when you did exactly what it is that someone told you to do it's like you still experience some type of criticism even in the area of like okay your finances your financial security and stability is like people could have told you like like, oh, you need to go have this particular type of job or, oh, you should go do this or, oh, you should go do that. And it's like, you tried those things. You tried the things that people told you to do and it just did not work out for you. So it's another heavy reliance on self, okay? I like that. Like, and even then it's like, you're still persevering. You're still moving forward. You're not holding yourself back, okay? Now, there are some things that you can't go for. I feel like you do have some boundaries, okay? Things that you can't go for. But at the same time, it's like you are actually still moving. You're still moving forward, okay? So I definitely do feel like there is still a bit of like caution and risk that you may not, like there's still a bit of like caution that you're trying to embody and like an element of risk that you may not necessarily be willing to take. But I can see that you're still thinking about moving forward. OK, you're still thinking about moving forward. So I would say I think caution, being cautious and not trying to be too risky has kind of even like got you here at this place in your financial situation. It's, it's kind of got you here because you didn't essentially take the. I want to say that it's like. You didn't always I mean, every decision that you made has led you to where you are now okay it's not necessarily a bad thing but i just feel like there were some risks that you could have taken even taken those risks earlier on if you would have just listened to yourself but it's all right okay it's all right because i feel like you're making up for it through your ability to just be vulnerable, to be aware, and to just get real with yourself. I feel like you're someone who knows yourself. You get real with yourself. Like, you be giving yourself tough love. Like, that's what I'm picking up as well. So, it's all right. Like, and the reason why I'm saying it's all right is because you're making up for this, okay? Everything that happened in the past, every mistake is literally, you're being vindicated right now, okay? You're being vindicated right now. So, that's what's up. 
on the bottom of the deck, we also have the Wheel of Fortune here. So I love this. It seems like this time period is just a very auspicious time for you. And I feel as though just even within yourself, it's like you're experiencing so many changes. I feel like these things are very sudden. These things are very unexpected. And it's just more in alignment with your destiny. So I love this for you. I feel like any idea that you get at this point in time, like anything that you're inspired about or passionate about, I would continue to keep working on it. Continue to keep working on it. Continue to keep exploring it because it seems like these passions that literally these new ideas, like I'm trying to tell you when spirit give you idea, like just write it down and explore it because it seems as though these ideas will definitely lead to just more prosperity. It'll definitely lead to some type of growth, some type of expansion. Like it'll seem like, oh, you're lucky, but I just feel like, yeah, I mean, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Okay. So you know, but it's, it'll seem like that. But I feel like you were working your whole life up to experiencing this moment of when things finally pay off. So I like this for you. Like you're definitely not going to be broke for too long. I think that's definitely something that's activated here. It's like you're not going to be broke for too long. I've tried to tell you that like things aren't going to be so uncertain for too long because it's too much uncertainty that is surrounding your present circumstance and situation right now. It's too uncertain. So the fact that I see this Wheel of Fortune card here at least gives you some type of reassurance to know that like, even though things may seem a bit uncertain right now, it's like just continue to keep paying attention to the signs, pay attention to the downloads that you're receiving and act on it. Don't be lazy, act on it. Really just act on it. So that's why I see here. I feel like I want to move on because I could really just keep going with the tarot, but I want to move on to the Energy Oracle and the next question I want to ask is like, you know, like what new opportunities, what new opportunities are on the way? Because I feel like you have, I mean, look, you have like multi-million dollar thoughts, okay? You have multi-million dollar thoughts, okay? So that's why I'm just trying to say like, it's so important for you to just lean into it. And I like this. I feel like the cycle that you were previously in has just been so like unfortunate and that's the, all I can say it's been so like sad depressing and unfortunate but I feel like this new cycle that you're entering in is just it's exactly what it is that you need like whenever I see the will of fortune it just lets me know that like especially upright it lets me know that like you know this is the cycle that you're entering in now and it's just essentially the ebbs and flows of life you know but you are doing what you need to do you're making certain type of adjustments so that you can experience more of an easier life okay your life is not going to be so struggly okay it's not going to be so ghetto like that's just what's going on right now so i love that for you like i love that for you so let's get into the opportunities we have man holding a coin Whenever I see this card, honestly, it could double as the King of Pentacles or even as the Ace of Pentacles. At the end of the day, to me, it just signifies blessings, okay? It signifies blessings. And like I even said, if this is a new opportunity for material and financial growth, like I said, again, just lean into these downloads, okay? Lean into what you are passionate about. Like It has to be something on your mind right now, in your heart right now, okay, that is electrifying you that is exciting you that makes you passionate about getting up in the morning like even if you may not be able to focus and dedicate your time on it like we all want something okay so now it's time for you to lean into that thing because this could be just a really good blessing for you so i like this i like man holding a coin like i like this for you like because even if we was looking at it from the king of pentacles standpoint like that's that's money all the way around okay that's business that's enterprise and it's also letting me know that even though like i said you don't you may not have the support you may not have the resources it's like you have the capability of being able to manifest or even attract these things into your life like you have the capability to i feel like you're focused on doing the hard work i feel like this lionsgate portal for you like this activation is focusing on 
the things that really truly matter beneath the surface with your emotionality and also with your mental state and you're doing the work that really truly matters like you're putting in the sweat equity okay with your mind with your thoughts trying to clear up these limiting beliefs and things that have been holding you back or just trying to better understand like what is the reality of my situation right now like and just being clear so I just feel like the opportunity you just I feel like you just want it so bad like I just feel like you want it so bad and you need it like I'm not mad like you you want material security and stability so bad like and you need it at this point in time you literally do like it's just no if ands buts or maybe so this activation right here it just is helping you to get more ready you know it's helping with your readiness like just furthering your goals um, this could be just you know even health because i don't really do too many readings on health but this could be your health as well of course money and of course value like i just feel like you'll be experiencing more success which is definitely evident with the wheel of fortune right here it's like just experiencing more success and just and I love it because it just lets me know you're taking control. Like you're literally taking control instead of just like sitting there, you know, uncertain. We don't know what's going on. Like you're you're taking control of your situation. You definitely have more self-control over the trajectory of your life and even self-control over your emotions. So let's move to the, um, this is the wisdom of the oracle. I think I, the question I want to ask is how can you best harness and integrate these changes moving forward? Like how can you best harness and integrate the changes? TikTok, okay? TikTok. That means the, the energy I'm picking up from this is more so of like the night of sorts, okay? So you got to act like you got to strike quickly in a sense. It's like I'm not telling you like, oh, be impulsive, but for you, for you, honestly, you may need that because you've experienced some energy where you have been holding yourself back and been a little like cautious, not really wanting to take too many risks like that, just trying to stay in a conventional space. But it's like, nah, keep taking risks. But yeah, TikTok, that's letting you know that time is of time is of the essence. OK, so I'm just picking up on like, no, like you need to do it now. OK, you need to do it now. I don't be trying to force and tell people what to do, but I feel like do it now, especially with the will of fortune. It's like this is literally the best time for you to do it. It seems like things have been aligned for you. So it's time for you to act quickly. I feel like with this energy it's very easy to just sit back and, you know, say to yourself like, oh, you know, leave everything up to divine timing, which is true. It's true. I mean, things do happen when they're supposed to happen, but I also feel like you're at a place to where you can take action on this to help further your situation, not like just sitting back and, you know, just not doing anything about it. Like, this is just a gentle nudge and reminder to just let you know that, like, it's time to get to work. Like, it's time to get to work. Or if you've already been getting to work, like, just keep going. Literally, just keep going. Just keep going. It seems like you all definitely will be experiencing just a miracle as well. So let's go ahead and move on to like just what is being released. Like what is being released. I'm using a dark mirror oracle. And I'm also going to use the surrender deck. This is the power of surrender. Okay. So let's get into the dark mirror oracle and let's see just what is being released. So we have triumph of lies. So it seems like pretty much I feel like what is being released from your life with this triumph of lies card is just about like the outward appearances, you know? So I just feel as though you all are just in a more authentic space right now because what is going on with your life is very real. So you don't really have at this point in time, like time to be egotistical about things like, you just have to be very humble at this point in time. I feel like your situation right now, your material world and the circumstances that you're experiencing there is very humbling. So it's like you don't really have time to 
puff out your chest or just trying to make it seem like you're not experiencing any issues and this and that. I just feel like your challenges always seem to humble you. So at this point in time, it's just like you're just not trying to keep up appearances, okay? You're not trying to keep up appearances anymore. Yeah, I just feel as though it's like you're also not, it's just taking it back to the message in the beginning. It's like you're also not trying to just do what other people tell you to do because that's what you feel like they expect for you or that's the standard that someone else set for you. So you're just laying down, you're laying down the mask, okay? You're laying down the mask, whether it was something that you imposed on yourself or even like I said, it was something that other people imposed on you. It's like, you're just laying it down. It's too exhausting. You can't keep up and that just is what it is. Like, it's too exhausting. You can't keep up. It's like, why even try to keep up with that when you have bigger fish to fry in your own personal life? So let's go ahead to the power of the surrender and see what comes up. Okay. So we have surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. And this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So I definitely love this for you. It's about you understanding that like there is enough to go around and there's definitely enough for you. Even if you have not yet reached the pinnacle, that's what I heard, the pinnacle or the peak or just where you want to be in life with your resources, with your business, with your enterprise, you're just even even with your personal home life. You know, maybe some of y'all just want to be able to have a comfortable home life for you and also for your family. And when I heard comfortable, I felt something when I I felt something when I said just a comfortable home life. So I feel like that's what it is for y'all like you just really want to be able to breathe and just be. And so you may feel as though because lifetime is going by even with TikTok, which is why I love this card as well because it just lets you know that like everything is going to happen as it's supposed to, but still it's kind of giving you that like kick in the butt to let you know that like okay but don't let up okay don't fall off don't let up but it's just like even as time is going by at least it's letting you know that yes you see other people succeeding you see other people doing stuff but it's like that doesn't mean that there isn't enough money in the world for you that does not mean that there aren't opportunities in the world for you because other people are getting opportunities like there's enough okay there is enough and it's like this will this of course is a mindset shift that will like it says here on this card help you to remove the blocks like remove the challenges or barriers that you that are self-imposed okay that you feel like are in the way so you all have just been dealing with some self-imposed issues but also issues that other people have been imposing on you as well so if you feel like it's been like you trying to live up to other people's standards and expectations and what they want want or what they expect from you. Like if you feel like that is going on, it's very much a real thing, okay? But you also have, like I said, bigger fish to fry within yourself, okay? So I think that's it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to pile two, but I definitely hope that this was helpful. I hope that I was able to convey the messages in a way that made sense because I know that I tend to be long-winded and I'll jump from here, from there, you know. So I just hope that I was able to resonate with you and I definitely hope this is helpful. This is information that you can actually use as you continue to keep moving forward. And yeah, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. It seems like your financial situation is definitely going to increase, okay? And it's definitely gonna make you a lot much more happier and optimistic and bright about your future. So you're doing a lot of the heavy lifting right now, and I'm not mad about that. I feel like you put in the work now so you can experience the benefits later. So you kind of have to employ a certain aspect of delayed gratification when it comes to this circumstance within your life. So I'm going to leave it here, y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Be blessed, fam. All right, my pile two people, if you chose the Ethereal Visions Luna Edition Tarot deck with the Rose Quartz Crystal, I'm going to go ahead and get started with your reading for today. But of course, I would like to say welcome again to all of the new viewers and to my lovely returning subscribers. I just want to continue to thank y'all for just being so beautiful. Y'all are just so beautiful 
great. Like, I really appreciate y'all being here. You could be anywhere in the universe, but you choose to spend some of your time here with me. So, of course, I don't take that lightly. And I'm just going to continue to keep doing my best to show up to create more content for y'all. Of course, in the community tab, as well as to post more of these readings that you all enjoy. So, you know, don't ever hesitate to drop a reading request. Like, don't ever hesitate to say what's up. Like, don't ever hesitate. Like, because y'all are just amazing. I love this community that is you know, expanding and growing. And I just look forward to just being able to connect with y'all in even more ways. So, you know, just stay tuned. But of course, thank y'all for the love and support that y'all show me. So if you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that button and join the fam today. Also, make sure y'all check out the links in the description box. Like there's so much information in there, but I love it because you can really just click through and the links and just get nosy like i love that so yeah you can check out just what i'm doing around the web you can follow me on social media so we can continue the conversation over there you can also just donate and support the, to this channel in just so many ways okay so you know just check it out and yeah y'all know i could be very long-winded so i look going through every link at this point in time it, it's a lot okay so let's just go ahead and get started <laughs> let's go ahead and get started pile two in addition to the ethereal visions luna edition tarot deck i'm going to be using four other oracle decks over here as well if you want links to these decks that I'm using, especially the ones I get off of Amazon, then it's like, you know, just look in the description box as well. Okay. I don't hoard decks. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. Like the first question. Oh yeah. The question that we're asking is what that we're asking spirit rather is what did the Lionsgate portal activate for you? And yeah. So let's go ahead and start with like what aspect of your life was most affected by the Lionsgate portal? So this card definitely fell out on the ground, okay? So we have the Four of Cups here, okay? We have the Four of Cups. So you may not be 100% enjoying your life experience at this point in time, okay? But it's okay, okay? It's all right. It's okay because I feel like sometimes spirit just got to get with us and I'm not mad that this is, you know, just the energy that's coming up here, okay? So we have the Four of Cups, We also have, we also have the lovers. I want to see, is this like love with another person or it's just going on within you, okay? It's going on within you. So let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry for even reacting like that, but yeah. Um, we see the Knight of Cups there. We see the Knight of Cups there. So mm, it seems like, and I'm not really mad at you because essentially this is Leo season and hey, like we're going to be thinking about things that we love. We're going to be thinking about things that make us feel passionate, okay? We're going to be thinking about things that excite us, that are enthusiastic. We're also going to be thinking about, you know, things that bring us joy and pleasure as well at this time during the year. So I'm actually not really mad. It seems like what was most affected was your love life, Okay, it could have been your love life, your romantic life. It seems as though it may not be up to par at this point in time. Like that's your perception about it. Okay, but the one thing I can say about you is, is like you're literally not hurting for options at all. It just might not be what you want, but you got options. Okay, you got options. Like you, it's, it's a couple people right now that you can text or call up and they will be knocking at your door, okay? Not saying that I'm saying you should invite people to your home because, y'all, people can be a little outlandish and unpredictable as we've seen <laughs> in our life experience. Not necessarily saying that, but what I am saying is like, you're not necessarily hurting for options. It may just not be what you want. I feel like you all, even if it's not necessarily what you want, it's like, I just, I just pick up that like, you all need to 
revel in being wanted or revel in being the prize like it's not to say that you have to be big-headed about it or just be like oh i'm a bad beat everybody want me but it's like understand that like you are desired like people want you people desire you people want to be around you people like interacting with you people love being social with you like people love your look people love your personality like they love it and it's like it's time for you to just, you know, like, I, I guess, I don't know if revel is the word. I don't know if it's revel, but it's just time for you to, to know that, okay? Even if you don't necessarily have what you want, I feel as though you should just definitely be grateful for the fact of it's like, you're in the race, okay? You're in the race, like, be grateful, like, you're in the race, like, that's all I'm basically trying to say. I don't want y'all to be like, oh, she encouraging us to be big headed and oh, she encouraging us to be egotistical or arrogant. But all I'm saying is like, change your, I feel like your perspective is being changed, especially on like what options you have. And even it, it's like, because think about it. It's like, even though you may not want what is immediately in front of you, it's like, if you don't exhibit some air of, gratitude is like how are you even supposed to be able to accept the opportunity in that you do want so that's something i'm seeing here it's like somebody is coming in okay someone is coming into your life like this is good like it may have been a bit dissatisfying but i love the fact that like it's it, it's a newer option it's a better option coming in it's someone that is your person is someone that you can be 100% compatible with. Like, this is someone that, you know, will be in harmony with you, okay? This is someone that will be in partnership with you. Like, but I definitely do feel like it's all about the choice that you that you have to make for yourself. It's like, you have to choose. Is this something that you want to incorporate into your life or is something that you don't want to incorporate into your life? Like, you have to choose. It's kind of like... You know, in the summertime, we in the summertime right now where I live, it's like, you know how like when you were a kid and your mom or your dad would be like, either come in or, or stay out. Like, you know, but stop letting all the good AC out every time you open the door and come in from outside playing with your friends. So it's just like spirit is kind of like caught this. It's basically saying like you either come in or stay out. Like, what is it that you want? Like come in or stay out. But it's like if you're deciding that, OK, this is what you want to do, then it's like. You have to also be able to balance this out with the other priorities that you have going on in life right now, okay? So you can't really allow yourself or your situation to trick you out of what the positive, like just the positive relationship that's coming into your life, okay? You can't allow it to trip you up, you know? You really can't. And I also feel like you all need to extend love as well. Like that's something that's being activated as well it's like your ability to be able to extend love and to really show the best parts of you i feel like people don't get to see all of the best parts of you especially when it comes down to socializing when it comes down to romantic options like it's like y'all it seemed like y'all are entering your like lover boy or lover girl era like that's just what it seemed like where it's just like you know you're just eating it up like I feel like spirit just wants you to eat it up and the fact that like yo people want you like eat it up like really eat it up and see yourself as being desirable see yourself as being some someone that that you know that another person would be completely happy with you know someone that you know someone could fall in love with like you are lovable that's just what I want to tell you and like feel like this is what is being activated is just showing you that you are lovable like even if you're current circumstance even if you might have a boredom or apathy towards you know love right now it's like that don't stop nothing like people love you people want you like so I just feel like for you it's just about opening up and just even showing the just more dynamic sides of you like showing the romantic side of you you know like it's just I just feel like you could really inspire someone to fall in love so I just feel like it's time that you just dwell in that it's just the fact of knowing that you're lovable, but I'm not really trying to tell y'all to be egotistical. It's like, you're lovable. It's just like, just accept it. Accept it. Like, accept it. And also accepting that what you want wants you, okay? What you want wants you. What you want wants you. I just feel like you got to get out of a certain frame 
of, of, of thinking in your mind. And as soon as I said that, I see the six of swords. So it's like, I get it. Okay. I completely understand why you're here. Okay. I completely understand. But the great and amazing thing about it is the simple fact that like what you've experienced in the past, when it comes to love, it's like what you've experienced in the past is like, it's, it's no more. Okay. Oftentimes we tend to hold on to a lot of residual energy okay from things that are already dead and going okay from things that have already been released from our life it's like you know just overall in general it's like sometimes we we try to hold on to that residual energy instead of just letting it go so it's just like you all have done the work you've gotten yourself out of some traumatizing situation okay and you've gotten yourself into a place of just more ease but i think that because it seems as though things may not be as chaotic or they may not be as eventful as what your situation was in the past i'm assuming your past relationships is like because it's not as chaotic or eventful but I'm also picking up like very toxic as well because you know when things are toxic, it's always something going on. And I feel like some people are comfortable with that toxicity and they're comfortable being in that dysfunction. It's like you're not in that dysfunction anymore. So it might seem to be like a bit much more like boring. It's like you're not going back and forth. But this is also some this is also a transition that you initiated. I just feel like your general demeanor and, and attitude right now it's just a byproduct of just where you've been what you went through and it is what it is okay it's just a byproduct of that like we're not perfect people like we're going to experience the ups and downs we're going to experience the ebbs and flows of things but i just feel like it's like you all have wrapped up that cycle now okay you definitely wrapped up that cycle so it is what it is <laughs> i guess that's what i'm trying to say like it is what it is i guess that's what I'm trying to say but yeah it seemed as though this aspect of your life was definitely um the most affected by the portal it's definitely opening you up and to to help you see and understand that it's like you can still essentially have what it is that you that you want it just seems that your approach or just your general demeanor hasn't really been setting you up to experience more of more of those things you know it's just it's about you opening up like you deserve love like you really do and we have the king of cups here so look i'm not mad at you i'm not mad okay king of cups is definitely even we got some cancer energy here okay with the lovers we got some gemini energy is here as well but yeah so yeah i love this because i just feel like it's not even just about the potential partner that is on the way for you especially if you are because the King of Cups is, t is typically a masculine male figure. So, you know, doesn't matter what your sexuality is. Like, you know, just switch it around for, who, you know, whoever you are and what your personal preferences are. It is what it is. But even personally for you, I just feel like it's all about you showing the best parts of yourself. Like the calm, compassionate side of yourself. The empathetic side of yourself. And I just feel like... Showing that is definitely going to increase the possibility of you attracting this romance into your life, one that is more suited for you. So even though you may not be interested in these options or what you have around, it's not bad to just, it's like be nice is I guess that's what I want to say, like be nice or to you don't have to be so harsh or cutting, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's not something somebody you want, because I feel like oftentimes it's like, we can judge our character based off of how we treat people that we're not interested in, okay? Because when you like somebody, if you're interested in somebody, like it's easier for you to show up in a certain specific way. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like how do you act and react to people that you may not want, okay? <laughs> like, are we bored? Are we apathetic? Like, it's like, mm, might not be what you want, but you're still in that emotional space, Okay, you're still in that emotional and mental space. But yeah, here with the King of Cups, I just love this for you because I just feel like not only is it opening up more of the lovey-dovey aspect inside of your personality, but I also feel like you're attracting that this type of individual into your life as well. So you've done a lot of 
legwork to just get yourself where you are right now like to just get yourself out of just unfortunate situations and relationships that were just not the best for you you've definitely done what you've had to do so don't feel like I'm, you know, saying this to you in a way to make it seem like you're not enough. I'm just opening up a, another, <laughs> another, something else for you to think about, okay? That's all I'm doing. That's really all I'm doing. But here we have here is the, we have the sun. We have the sun right here. So I love this for you. I just feel like there's so many amazing parts of yourself that are going to be shown, Okay, I feel like there's so amazing, there's so many amazing parts of yourself that are that we need to see that people should experience. I feel like you can bring a lot of, like I said earlier, just a lot of happiness and even joy and even pleasure, not only to your life, but to the lives of others as well. Like people want to connect with you, but it's just you keeping yourself in a certain space. You know what I'm saying? And look, y'all gonna do whatever it is that y'all want to do. Like I said, I'm just opening up a different perspective, something else for you to think about. But yeah, I love this. I just feel like you are, it's just a stark difference from like where we started in the reading to like where we are now, where it's some boredom and apathy here. But as you continue to show your real self, as you continue to choose love, it's like, it will just change like it will change you it'll change your demeanor it'll change how you experience your this specific area of your life and it'll just make you feel just a lot much more like I think I said optimistic already but just yeah optimistic about what could be because it's like you're you're showing up in a in a different way you know you're showing up in a different way so it's just it's definitely a lot much more romantic like this is opening up a more of a romantic side of you and this is why i said you and your lover boy lover girl era like this is what this activated because you gonna be very surprised at even more the amount of people that are gonna want to court you or date you or do nice gestures for you or you know compliment you and it's just like you just going up like you really just glowing up and I feel like you're going to be very surprised. Like, I also feel like you're someone who spent a lot of time like by yourself, even though you do like to be social, it's like you'll spend a lot of time by yourself. And it's like, when you go outside, you're going to be very surprised at like just how people react to you. I feel like you're going to be very surprised. Like people are just going to favor you. They're going to, they're going to be very drawn to you, you know, like even more so just very, very, very drawn. We even have here the star, like, yeah, like this is all I'm trying to say. Like, and I'm looking at the star more so as like your demeanor or your personality. And I also feel like the star is here is just letting you know to like continue to keep having faith and continue to keep displaying wishful thinking and what it is that you want even if it might not be directly in front of you like keep having wishful thinking so that you actually can have your eyes open to the best opportunity for you and because you're already in that romantic state of mind it's not going to be too hard for you to express yourself and to show love you know because it's all about choices even here with the lovers it's all about choices so it's like you have to choose love and choose the action of love and even choosing the person that you want to be with so I just feel like there's just a calm, caring, compassionate individual that just is coming into your life and it's just going to make you even more happy and it's going to make you feel like it's safe for me to love, okay? And it's going to make you want to, I would say make you, but no, it's going to encourage you, okay? It's going to encourage you to want to show the best parts of yourself, okay? So I love this. I really do like I love it but yeah even here with the star like yeah people gonna be drawn to you like moths to a flame okay that's pretty much what it is they're gonna be drawn to you like moths to a flame and then also here with the artist card I feel like it's just all about you like this is the birthplace well not like the birthplace of creation but I feel like the artist is more so like about just what do you see like and taking the time to be in your imaginative space and just envisioning what it is that you want so I love this. I just feel like even though you haven't been experiencing what you want, there's still this hunger within you. Like it's still this drive within you. Like there's still, you still know what you want. Like it's very specific. It's very, very specific. So that's just what I'm picking up here. Like you've already envisioned it. This is something that you think about. It might seem like it's so far off because this is in your imagination, but 
I just feel like it's still going to happen. Like, that's all I'm trying to say. Like, I just feel like it's, it's still going to happen. Like, the more that you think about your plans or just a vision for your for a great relationship is like the more that you dedicate time into this I feel like you're going to manifest this person okay so it's kind of like writing down what you want in a partner or even making some type of vision board about like what you want your romantic life to look like even if you may not be experiencing right now it's experiencing it right now we also have the page of cups here as well I'm just saying like this is all about being in your imaginative space this is all about daydreaming and just getting curious you know like this the energy that you're in right now it's not too much curiosity like it's not too much of that going on like what if what if you know so it's time for you to get back in this dreamy state of mind okay get back in the dreamy state of mind like i feel like y'all should know that magic and miracles still do happen like Magic and miracles still do happen. So let me go ahead and move on because I feel like I'm going to just keep talking. But I love the fact that this Lionsgate portal has definitely activated, like I keep saying, your lover boy, lover girl era. Like it's definitely like you're definitely going to be surprised. Like I'm trying to tell you like so many gestures, people wanting to take you out on dates, people wanting to be connected to you, people wanting to love you. But there's one specific lover Okay, definitely come up in the form of this King of Cups individual right here is one specific lover that is going to be able to meet you where you are. It's not going to make you feel bad about spending time and energy when you would rather be doing something else. Okay, I know that's why I'm picking up like somebody said, I'd rather be doing something else. Like, I know I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. But like I said, love is a choice. And I feel like this individual is going to encourage you to, to choose them or to choose this relationship. Because they're going to be right here with it with you. Right here. Literally. So don't feel bad about communicating what it is that you want and envisioning this so that you can manifest this. Like, don't feel bad. Like, what is the most ideal relationship that you want? Like, do not feel bad about writing down what you want. Because it's going to be someone out here that is willing to do it. Point blank, period. So let's move on. Let's move on to the energy oracle. The question that I'm asking with this energy oracle is like, what new opportunities or insights has this activation brought? Like, I feel like I've already kind of gotten into that, but I don't know. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Like, y'all, I'm done. <laughs> we got the heart chakra. <laughs> the fourth chakra. I'm trying to tell y'all, like, yeah, listen to your heart. Your heart is, your heart is opening up. Okay, your heart is opening up at this point in time. And I love that for you because I already picked that up in the beginning of the reading that you just were not interested. Like, but it's like your heart is definitely opening up. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if this person has already shown up in your life right now. You just got to get comfortable with the fact of extending your love and also being loved. Okay, so I'm not mad. Okay, so with open up you have opportunities for love compassion and also self acceptance and we can see that anyway with the lover's card as well that's why i had to ask is this about you extending is this about you extending love to another person you know or vice versa love being extended to you or is this just something within yourself and it's like yeah you do have there are some aspects of self acceptance here you're just at a point in time right now like you just, you're at a readiness to receive love from others. Like, you really are. Like, you really are. And I just feel like even with the Six of Swords, is like, like I said, what you've experienced in the past, like, is gone. But, you know, there is still some residue that you are still trying to heal from or just even trying to clean up because I didn't read too much about your past. But when I see the Six of Swords, it's just, it lets me know that you had to leave. Okay, you had to leave. No ifs, ands, buts, or maybes. Like, that just was a situation that you could not be in. It's too chaotic. It's too challenging. It's too much. Like, it's just too much. So you just had to get out of that. So I just feel like, you know, right now at this point in time, just, you know, keep being compassionate with yourself. There's a lot of compassionate energy here in this read. And so just keep being compassionate with yourself, just what you're communicating to yourself, even with the lovers. And... Just keep continue to keep shining. Like I just feel like this compassion and this self love is just really going to attract 
so many people to you and especially the person that you want is going to attract that person to you. It's going to send more people and even send more situations like but the main situation right now is your lover boy lover girl era like all right so let's move on to this the wisdom of the oracle how can i or how can you rather i wrote these questions down <laughs> best harness and integrate these changes so that you can move forward We have building blocks. Just take it a step at a time, okay? Take it a step at a time because I was picking that up from y'all anyway. You're still healing, so just take it a step at a time. Like, don't feel like you have to make these big, you know, grand gestures or leaps moving forward. Just literally baby steps, okay? Baby steps. Because I know when it comes down to like doing things for yourself, it might be a bit much more easier because you can rely on yourself. But when it comes down to dealing with other people, it could be a little bit, I don't know. You know, it could be a bit, I don't know. But I just feel like just understanding that like just even the type of relationship that you want or even you just developing more self-love and acceptance for yourself. Like this is something that is going to take time. I feel like healing is always constant. It's on a continuum. It, it doesn't end. I feel like we're always healing. We're always evolving. But the good thing I can say is at least you are on the path, okay? At least you are on the path. I feel like just even with this energy, it's just about you understanding that like your foundations just matter, okay? Your foundations matter. Your foundations matter. Like this building blocks reminds me of just like the three of, three of pentacles energy. You know, so even though we may not yet be there, okay, even though we are on the way to establishing the relationship that we truly want, is like it's okay, okay? You're you're still doing what you need to do at this point in time so that you can benefit from just a healthy connection. So as far as doing what you need to do, this is you focusing on your values, focusing on your ethics, for focusing on your morals, your core beliefs, like even hearing the artist energy, like understanding what it is that you truly want, you know, writing down the plan, making it clear, being clear with the universe, like not really half step in where it's like you're in or you're out type of energy that like I said earlier, it's like you kind of have to choose. And it's like as you choose, it's like now is the time to really set and build a foundation for yourself. And I feel like a part of that really has to do with like your general demeanor and how others experience you um, as well. OK, especially with you being in that like bored, and apathetic type of over it energy when it comes to this area of your life. You're just attracting new relationships into your life like you really are. I feel like it's already around because this is this is kind of like it's already in your energetic field, okay? It's already in your aura. Like you just got, it's just about you realizing it, paying attention to it and choosing, you know? So I love this. It's like this relationship is just going to be so strong. Like it really is. It's going to be so firm. And I love this because whomever you get into this relationship with is like, y'all are just going to be such an amazing, loving, strong, and wise couple. So this is the Dark Mirror Oracle. I'm essentially going to use this deck to see what is being like released from your life. And I also have, well, concerning this, and I also have the Surrender deck as well. So let's go ahead. So we have envious gluttony. That's definitely some very interesting information here. Envious gluttony. I feel like what is being removed from your life is like the idea of like not enough, like not enoughness. I just feel like that's something that's being removed from your life. Like just the perceptions, the way that you are viewing your dating life, the way that you're viewing relationships that may not be up to par and what exactly it is that you want. I feel as though that's something that's being just removed. It's very easy to look around at the things that other people have and to potentially envy them because they have a certain type of love in their life. But I also feel like something you have to understand is that you have had 
opportunities, even if it's not with the exact people that you want, you know, for one reason or another, I'm not really focusing too much on like the, you know, the bad toxic relationships in the past but I'm talking more so about like you know just everyday people that you're meeting now like there are chances for you to experience the type of love that you want there but I'm also not really mad at you either because I feel like you should want the best but I also feel as though it's like if you're gonna turn down options and turn down opportunities for love with others it's like you can't be feel in some type of way because you don't have what you think you should have or what other people have it's like maybe they gave those individuals chances and it just worked out for them in the end so yeah it's just about you understanding that like your love life doesn't have to be this big looming monster I just feel like it's it, it can just be something very simple that has just kind of gotten out of hand okay so I think that's just what is really being released from your life at this point in time right now like even when you look at the figure on his car it looks actually very disgusting okay it looks very disgusting but it just looks like something that is under something that is like underfed so i feel like you all have in a way just been starving yourself of what you deserve because it doesn't come in the exact package or doesn't come in the box that you would like it to to come in you know, it's not coming in that particular box. And look, that's on you. Accept what you want to accept. Like, okay? Because you could listen to me or you could not. Yeah, I just feel like you have an urge to love. Like, and you're not allowing yourself to experience that urge. So now it's kind of getting out of hand. Okay? It's getting really out of hand. So let's move on to the surrender deck. Like, what can you surrender to within this situation? Surrender to what is, <laughs> flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So I love that. I feel like you don't yet have what you want or like which what you truly desire when it comes to love and romance. You may not have exactly what you want, but I feel like you can surrender to like, like it says, what is the current, like what is currently going on, what the reality of it is. And just of course, like fine tune yourself as well. You can still show up as your best self. Like you can still show up charismatic and confident and social and beautiful and lovely and just bright and charming like still show up as that because that's just an area aspect of your life that wants to be expressed but you may not allow it to be expressed because you don't have the options that you want okay <laughs> you don't have the options that you want but even here with the four of cups as you can see there is still another option and opportunity that is available to you it's 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 literally right in front of your face and look it's like it came from the universe okay so it's not what you have created what you have tried to cultivate on your own it's like this thing is just for you it's just about you changing your perspective to being able to see it so look i just feel like as you continue to open up your heart space allow yourself to receive love love yourself it's like you won't be attracting this person into your life for real like it, it's gonna that person is literally going to be right there i split the deck again and what do i see surrender to receiving support and love allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you like i'm gonna just give y'all that as well because that's just a confirmation of just what i was picking up so yeah, you gotta allow the love in. Like, you are lovable. You deserve love. I'm gonna keep telling you that because it's true. And I feel like just even telling you that and reminding you is really going to be, like, just a, a huge step in the direction of you being able to attract what it is that, that you want. Like, instead of focusing on what you don't want, right? So, I'm gonna leave it there. I really will, like, I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I hope it made sense. I know I tend to jump around a lot. So I definitely hope that you all were able to connect the messages and relate them back to your own personal life. So I'm gonna leave it there. Be blessed, fam. I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, my pile, three people.
Yeah, we on pile three now. Like, if you chose the Radiant Wilds Tarot deck with the Citrine Crystal, I'm going to go ahead and get started with your reading. But yes, I would like to say welcome to all of the new viewers and, of course, to my lovely returning subscribers. I just want to continue to just thank y'all for just being so amazing, for being so loving, so supportive. And just in return, I'm going to continue to show my love, to show, you know, my appreciation and to support y'all in the best ways in which I can because y'all could be anywhere out here in the universe but you're choosing to spend some time here with me so I don't take it lightly I'm just gonna continue to show up as my best self continue to keep my intentions in mind which is to create an amazing community of just fun insightful down-to-earth people but also people that really just want to progress and grow in life at the same time so you know that was just really my intentions and so that's why I just do my best to show up genuine authentic and also just to be very loving as well in return so I'm just excited about growing and I hope y'all are excited as well so stay tuned if you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that button. Okay, join the fam today. And also make sure y'all check out the links in the description box as well. So there's links in there for checking me out on other social media sites. If you would like to continue the conversation over there, there's also links in which you can either donate to this channel or you could even support this channel in other ways. Like I'm dropping a Tarot 101 course and I also just dropped channel memberships as well. So yeah get into it but yeah y'all just click around and get nosy okay that's why the links are there <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and get started because like i've been telling pile one and two and if you've been here for a while you know i can get long-winded so let's go ahead and get started y'all i have four other oracle decks that i'm going to be using as well and of course the question that we're asking spirit today is what did the Lionsgate portal activate for you? What did the Lionsgate portal activate for you? Mind you, like I, mind y'all, like I said in the intro, the Lionsgate portal is actually not closing until the 12th. So you still got time. Okay. You still got time to manifest your desires. All right. You still got time. Even if the most auspicious time was August 8th, it's okay. It's okay. You still got time. So let's go ahead and get started. The first question I'm asking is what aspect of your life was uh, was the most affected by the Lionsgate portal? Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. I'm not mad at the Knight of Swords energy. Like, I'm definitely not mad at that. I feel like you all have just this sense of movement where it's just like, no, nah, you got to take action on what you want, like point blank period. We also have the 10 of Pentacles. This could have to do with your finances or even with the idea of family, family, legacy. I'm going to get some more information about this. Because what I just heard was SHIT starter or like instigator, but not in a bad way. So I want to see like what is being set into motion. Like what is like what this Lionsgate portal has initiated for you. Like because that's the whole point of the reading. But it seems like it really did. I don't know if instigate is the right word, but it did set some things into motion. Like <laughs> and on the bottom of the deck, I see the, the nine of cups here as well. So this is nice. This is nice. Like, I feel like you at this point in time, it's like you're just, I don't know, the word, the first thing, the, the first thing that came to mind was like the feeling of being fed up. You know, you know, when you just get so fed up with something that is just like enough is enough and you just have to make the change. Like, it's very drastic. It's very sudden. It could be a little chaotic. It could be it could be riddled with conflicts. But I feel like it's necessary. I feel like it's necessary. So I feel as though you at this point in time, because it's just what you're going after, what is being activated for you is just is so great that I just pick up that you are someone who is like willing to roll with the punches. 
You know how some people don't really like the idea of change because they don't understand what's coming out on the other side. I feel like you are someone who's just like, you're not afraid. You're not scared. I just heard, I just heard Bone Crusher. I ain't never scared. Like, so y'all could probably like that song. You could also be from the South or even from Atlanta. It's just like, I ain't never scared. Like, that's the type of attitude that you have at this point in time so it's just like a renewed like it's just courage and i mean we are like we're in leo season so this is like what the point i feel like of the lionsgate portal is to is to really like instill these characteristics within you so that you feel so confident enough to just emerge and to just do what you want i just feel like that's where y'all at right now like this activation really put something in your head or put like a battery in your back and just is like, you need to go off. Like you need to do what you want. Like I just, when I first started this reading and I put these cards down, I just heard get rich or die trying. Okay, get rich or die trying. So just whatever that means for you is like, that's just where you're at. It's like, I'm going after what I want. I don't care. It could come off as being impulsive. It could come off as being a little frantic, but I don't care. I need to go after this. Like, so yeah, I just feel like you all is like just even in your own personality, like how you are showing up or will be definitely like <laughs> is like you're just I just heard like no holes bar, like you just focus, determine. Like there's a certain aspect of will that you are embodying. You're just not stopping until you get what you want. Like that's definitely what's activated. It's like not stopping until you get what you want. It's like the idea of tenacity or even just being ambitious. It's like, it's just, I feel like it just took over you. Like it's just a wave that has come over you. And it's just like, nah, I gotta go do this. Like I gotta go do this. I gotta get this. Like I don't care what the other people have to say. Like, you could already be a part of like an already established family lineage. Like, you know, it's already established, but it's like, you're that person in your family. That's just like, I'm doing me like point blank period. Like I'm doing me. There's nothing that's going to stand in my way. Y'all could be looking at it as, oh, I'm kind of off the wall at this point in time, but I have to do me like right now. It's just like, everything that you've experienced as far as just being dissatisfied with not having enough not having exactly what it is like trying to make things make sense it's like you are going after that thing you're trying to figure out what the missing piece to the puzzle is and the first step is looking within like i just feel like you really not holding yourself back from what you really and truly desire and this was actually a, a follow-up reading i'm supposed to do that's related to the Lionsgate portal, which is like, what's in your heart's desire. But if you want to do that reading right now, I actually posted it on the community tab, like a quick little mini read that you can really get into. But I just feel as though you just, you're going after what your heart's desire is. Okay. You're not letting nothing stand in the way. You want to create your own thing, you know? So that's why I'm saying you could already be a part of something that is already established, like an already established family. Your family could already have like a family business, you know, it's already something that you can do, but it's like, you would rather do your own thing. You would rather create your own thing. That's just where I'm picking up. So some people might be looking at you sideways like, oh, you can just do this. Why you gotta go do that? But it's like, no, I feel like for you, it's all about your own personal sense of ownership and just doing exactly what makes you happy. Like what makes you happy it has nothing to do with nobody else. It's what makes you happy. So I just love this for you because I just feel like it's just this new energy. It's this new enthusiasm. It's this new focus to go out and get it. Like that's just really what it is. Like even here with the um with the death card, like this is a it's this is a change. Okay. This is a trans this is a transition. This is a transformation from just how you used to be in the past, which I'm assuming is not as what is it that I want to say? Like not as motivated in a sense you know, not as motivated. I feel like you all could have felt like there was a level of inexperience or immaturity that you were dealing with at a certain point in time. I also feel like, yeah, I'm picking up more so like it's inexperience. It's like kind of just deciding and choosing to do something, but not really understanding the implications of the actions, not really understanding where it's going to get you. But I just feel like you're in a point in your life right now where it's like, 
I'm not worried about that no more. Like, I'm not going to second guess myself. I'm not going to sit back. I'm not like, I'm just going to go get it. Like, I'm going to go do this. So it's just like you all just really, it's like you just don't care no more. Like, you don't give an F. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Like, you don't give an F. Like, you really are trying to just do what is best for you to accomplish what you want. I feel like you just have really big, big goals, okay? Really big goals. Like, when I see the Ten of Pentacles, it just dawns on me that it's like, nah, this is, this is permanence, okay? This is permanence. This is you being a part of something that is very timeless, okay? That it doesn't only just benefit you but it benefits a greater community as well. It benefits a greater community as well. So I just feel like the activation is just like you no longer second guessing yourself and holding you back. I just feel like you're shaking, you're shaking things up. I feel like the, the portal is shaking things up for you. I love this. I feel like you're just stepping into the unknown and you not, it's like, yes, you should care about the implications, but I also feel like Oftentimes we can overthink things and it really does stand in a way of us being able to just like execute and see, you know, what happens on the other side of that execution. So it's just, that's just kind of what I'm picking up here. It's like you're stepping into the unknown, but you're just doing it because it doesn't matter. You just have to make it. Okay. You got to get rich or die trying. You have to try. You just can't sit in one spot. Okay, so it just seems as though you're taking a lot of actions to help your financial security and stability. But like I said, it's permanence. So creating something that is time timeless, being a part of something that is timeless. And also you're putting yourself and your needs first as well. And I'm really not mad at that, like putting your needs first and just trying to achieve what makes sense to you. I don't think you're trying to do everything, but I feel like you just want to do what is in your heart. Like I said, like your heart's desires. This portal has just an increase of momentum in your life. Okay. Like, cause this is kind of hitting me. Like it's like the eight of wands where it's just like, you better adjust your wig clips. Cause <laughs> you know, it's, it's going Things are moving, it's going, and it just is what it is. So yeah, I just feel like there's just an increased momentum in your life, like an increased momentum to just have something of permanence, have something that is timeless, like something that you can enjoy, like you just want to achieve, you just want to be successful, like that's just what you want. Like I feel like you just want to have a comfortable life, you just want to be satisfied with your life, like that's just really what you want at this point in time. You also see the Hierophant here as well. I love this. I feel like on your journey and path, you are, I just feel like you're ready to learn more. Like you're ready for more information. It just seems as though your container was full and then it's like you just got a bigger container, you know, and now it's like that container needs to be filled up as well. But I just love the Hierophant energy. It lets me know that like, you are what you're doing is like it's not just for you you know it's not just for you it's for others as well so this energy that you in where you know it may seem as though you could be a bit like ruthless or not really trying to listen to other people or you know you just doing what you want like it's like it may come off some type of way but I feel as though you are just being exposed to some more information, okay? You're being exposed to some more information that has you focusing more so on the bigger picture as opposed to like minute things that could that could potentially distract you. It has you focusing on the bigger picture. It has you focusing on bigger structures. And so, yeah, there's a, just bringing it back to family here as well. Like I definitely feel as though your family, like, I feel as though some of you could potentially be at odds. You could potentially be at odds with your family or you just don't see things the same way they do or, you know, their habitual patterns and behaviors, how they act, even how they communicate is just like foreign to you. Like you may feel as though, you may feel as though you were like, I don't, I want to say like, 
that you are not from your family or you may feel as though you were like adopted or something like that. You just feel like your family is not really a family. And I think that during this point in time, there's definitely going to be chances and opportunities for you to like forgive them or for you to have a better understanding of them and just seeing that like, like just coming to the conclusion that like even though they may not be your people even though they may not be your people okay your people or your type of people that you like to be around is like you there's gonna be an acceptance okay there's gonna be some form of like forgiveness and just acceptance for who they are and just who they couldn't be, you know, who they are accepting that and accepting who they could not be for one reason or another. So I feel like it's going to be a bit, it's a little rough here, but I feel like, like in that aspect of family, cause I'm picking up issues there. I feel like it could be a little rough there, but I'm also picking up that like, you're still going to be supported, even if you might do things in a different way than what they do. I feel like you're going to be supported, especially down the line. I feel like, and you know, that's how it happens. That's always how it happens is like when you decide to step out and do something on your own, it's like people just, they be looking, they be feeling some type of way. Like, but when it all comes together, when it all makes sense, when you achieve a certain level of success is like, they're going to understand why you did what you did. So pretty much that's all I'm trying to say is like, they're going to understand your own personal transformation and just take more of an interest in your own, in your own individual process, as opposed to like being at odds with with you so that's just kind of why i'm picking up here as well but yeah i just think that you're ready for more information i feel like you have set yourself up to become someone who could even be influential in some ways as well where i just feel as though people will be coming to you for more information or knowledge on how you do what you do that's just something i'm picking up Yeah, and we also have, yep, the Five of Wands here. So this, I feel like the Five of Wands is pretty much confirming as far as like family-wise, like the issue and struggle there. I feel like the Five of Wands definitely can confirm that, the potential drama. But I also feel as though, even for you, it is the internal conflict of, do I do this or not? And I just feel as though, this is you kind of persisting and moving past that internal conflict. I feel like when you achieve what is really truly in your heart's desires, it's like you're going to feel a lot much more safe within yourself. I feel like you're going to rely on yourself a lot much more and trust yourself a lot much more. I feel like, yes, it's something that you're going to be doing through the process, but like when you receive the payoff from just the journey that you have taken, it'll definitely give you a lot much more assurance. That's the word. It's going to give you a lot much more assurance in your own personal character traits that you have had to pick up. I'm just getting like, it's the chariot energy where it's just like, you've really had to combine these two opposing forces and within yourself and even having to embody a new type of energy. That's why I'm picking up that like, okay, this Knight of Swords energy right here, like it might be something that's a little new for you. Okay. This momentum, this whole, like, you know what? It seemed like, I just picked up alter ego vibes, okay? So it seemed like this your alter ego where it's just like, I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna get it. Like, so I love this for you. So yeah, what is the Lionsgate portal activating for you? Your alter ego phase, okay? That's what it's doing. It's, it's your alter ego phase, but I love it because it seems like with your close loved ones, it's like there is going to be a sense of acceptance and also forgiveness for just who you are and what you had to do, okay? who you are and what you had to do like and we even have here with the emperor like I just feel like you had to embody some type of masculine energy I keep picking that up where it's just like I gotta go out and I gotta get it like point blank period like this is really that Aries energy and if any of y'all are Aries if any of y'all are Aries just you know forgive me as I say this but Aries when I tell you something about Aries people they truly don't give a f like <laughs> they truly don't give a f like 
you know how you are. If you're Aries, you're assertive, okay? You are you are someone who speaks with authority, okay? You are someone that likes to be in control, okay? You are someone who's very commanding, like, and very action-based. Like, your presence is like, no one can deny you of your presence because it's really just that strong. So, yeah, I'm just picking up that, like I said, you've had to embody some different type of energy that, like, that's, dip, you know, it's just different from your usual type of demeanor or the usual things that you're, that you're doing. Like, so it's just... It's a bit different. I feel like it's a different process. And I also feel like sometimes it's like when something new is happening, you do need that assurance to know that like, okay, like I'm good. I'm doing the right thing. And it's like, I hope I'm able to let you know that it's like, yeah, you do, you actually are doing the right thing by putting yourself in this very action-based type of um, space, okay? And this could be within just a lot of different areas of your life but specifically i'm just picking up that this has more so to do with areas in which you can be a leader areas in which you can assert some type of power you know some type of dominance is something i want to say like i feel like this includes other individuals as well it's just giving me like business or ceo vibes or just the leader of some type of community type of vibes even there with the hierophant the hierophant is very much a mentor and a leader as well okay like very much so like so i feel like don't ever feel like because you you have like this you're in this very energetic space right now which could be you know it's perceived as being impulsive because stuff is moving like don't ever feel like just because that's happening that there isn't some level of stability here I feel like you still have your morals and you still have your values but and that is a very much a part of your life but when it comes down to what you want out of life and accomplishing everything that is within your heart's desires is like I'm not saying F all that, but it's like, that's a good foundational place for you to then go get what you want. So you don't ever have to feel like you're in the pursuit of, you know, just your own egotistical needs. It's like, you're in the pursuit of what you feel like you, you need for your life. Like this is a very unconditionally loving type of process that you're putting yourself in. You're giving yourself what you need. It's like self-love. Okay. So you're embodying a different type of energy. It's very masculine, okay? And like, it's nothing wrong with being in that energy. I feel like that's really about the execution. It's about going after what it is that you want. And even here, as you can see with the owl here, it's like you're still operating from a place of experience, from knowledge, and you also have the wisdom here as well. So it's like, don't ever feel like you're working off of nothing. It's like, you're not, your life experience very much is there. And it gave you some type of negative feedback to where you understood that like, nah, I got to pick it up. Okay, I got to do something different. And I just feel like that's what's being offered to you right now. Like, it's just the ability to stretch, to to grow, to to mold yourself into someone who is worthy of respect. Okay, I feel like you are worthy of respect. Like, and it's not to say that you have to demand respect. I just feel like it's going to be evident through your actions. It's going to be evident through your words. It's just going to be evident through just your sense of just authority. It's just like your sense of authority. So I love this for you. I feel like you could have potentially been overlooked, especially within your family structure. You could have been overlooked, but I mean, you're doing you. So you're doing you. So I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell them people. I don't know what to tell them. It's just, I don't know what to tell them. I also feel like, especially with your sense of spirituality as well like this could present some conflicts within your family like just your own personal beliefs i just pick up that y'all like, really do rely on like the universal laws like you think about the law of assumption you're thinking a lot about just the law of attraction just like gratitude i feel like that's something that you're thinking about that could be a little like out of the norm as well but it seems as though this information is very, like you need it, okay? You need that information. So it's like you're not holding yourself back from that either. 
you're not holding yourself back from that either. It's like, you just don't want to be limited. And then I'll see here with the three of wands, like, yeah, it's all about expansion and progression in your life. I just feel like you want your life to be more, okay? You didn't, what I heard was, it's a song by Burda Boy called Yay. And he basically, I say Yay. That's my aunt name, <laughs> yo. Yo, it's a song by Burna Boy where he just be like, he just talk a lot about everything that he wants to do. He wants to turn up. He wants to buy a house. He wants to buy a car. He wants to enjoy life. Like he didn't come into this world to die for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So he just says, it's talking about how he just wants to live a complete, fulfilling and holistic life. And it's just like, I feel like your your own personal life is really, truly progressing in that way. So whatever the pursuit of happiness, of your own personal sense of happiness and a good life means to you, is like, you're not holding yourself back from having that. You're not holding yourself back from having that. Point blank period is what I'm just trying to say. Like, <laughs> y'all been saying point blank period this whole, this whole reading, but it's true because it's really, there's nothing else after that. Like it's this period, that's it. Like there's nothing else after this. So I like this. I feel like you, you won't be questioning yourself as much. You're just gonna go. You're just gonna do like, you're not gonna be overthinking it too much. You're just gonna go and do like what you want. But yeah, with the three of wands, I like that energy because it talks a lot, like I said, about the whole expansion, progression and the long-term aspect of things. When we see the Ten of Pentacles, that talks a lot about long-term and permanence as well. So it's just like this energy that you're in, I would definitely advise or this activation, like I would advise that you just keep up with the momentum of this. Like, keep up with the momentum of this. I feel like something that you're going to learn and understand is that in order to achieve what you want out of life, it's like you have to keep going. You have to keep putting one foot in front of the other. That's something I pick up too is like the inconsistencies that you have experienced in your past. Like, it just gets like a start, stop. I picked up like a start, stop type of energy, like start, stop, start, stop. So this time right now is just good for you to get on the train and stay on the train. OK, <laughs> get, get on the train and stay on the train, like get on the course and stay on the course. That's kind of what I'm picking up here as well. Like, I just feel as though by you achieving what is truly within your heart's desires, it's like you will be able to be a really good influencer, leader, and of course, just a teacher, mentor to other folks that are experiencing or have experienced the same type of back and forths and internal conflicts that you all have experienced. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like you all are just becoming so determined and you really are truly overcoming obstacles, just obstacles from within, like that inconsistency, the start stop. It's like you're definitely going to be, you're definitely going to be overcoming that. Okay, that's what I want to say is overcoming that. So I love this energy for you. I feel like it's just good things that are coming back to you because you put yourself in a place of being assertive. So I just feel like it's going to be a lot of good things that really do come back to you. And then on the bottom of the deck, I also see the Ace of Swords. Like I love the Ace of Swords energy because it just reminds me of just having like a moment of clarity. I think that's something that you've experienced and you will is like, you will definitely have that moment where it's just like, dang, I should have been doing this the whole time. Like, or dang, I should have been motivated or consistent like this the whole time. I should have been in my active era the whole time. I feel like that's something that you're going to understand. But I'm also not mad at this, this Ace of Swords energy either because I just feel like you're going to be so much more efficient and effective. Yeah, like I'm picking up that laziness used to be an issue in the past, but it's like you're going to be so much more efficient, effective, like just really getting things done, like back to back to back. So yeah, pretty much hold on to your wig clips. Pretty much, you know, do what you got to do. <laughs> get it together like because it seems like your life is really going to be drastically picking up very fast like it's going to be picking up very fast like we don't have time here to question and go back and forth we just need to get on one accord on one page within ourselves and go okay because with the three of the three of wands too i love this because it just let me know that like you're definitely going to be going places okay you're going to be going places this could be literal like travel so opening up the possibility of travel, even with the Knight of Swords. 
And I also feel like you're also going to be receiving just a lot of great things in return for your diligence and determination to stay focused, to stay the course. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to get some more information on the Knight of Swords, like why you would be in that Knight of Swords energy. I'm just like, what happened to you before? And I got the hangman. So yeah, you were in a very inactive place before. I'm glad that I was able to confirm, confirm what I was feeling is that you were in an inactive place before and just not really being too daring. Like you just, I'm not mad. You put yourself in that position of the hangman so that you can, you know, learn something so you can be a little enlightened. I'm not mad at that, but I just feel like, you already is like at this point is like i'm gonna get into what what is being let go of and like what you can surrender to but this is already a surrendering and sac sacrificing type of energy as well so it's like there's many things that you could have sacrificed to get into this place it could have been people places things or even just the, the the laziness and the inconsistency that had to be sacrificed like i just feel like you experienced a dissatisfaction and you just like had to get out of your own way you know how people say that where it's just like i gotta get out of my own way like i'm holding myself back it's like that that definitely is a is, is something that you, you understood when you were in that period of enlightenment, okay? And also with the aspect of the universal laws that I brought up as well, it's like the hangman definitely embodies one of the universal laws, which is basically talking about like creating space for the good that you seek. So I'm, I'm, I'm definitely proud of you. Like you was able to let something go so that you could open yourself up to greater and to more. I say that all the time on this channel, like people really be afraid to let go of stuff because they don't know what's coming after. But it's like for you, it's just like this whole leveling up of your persona, of your your life. Like it's just like a whole leveling. It's just like a whole leveling up. Like you might have felt like, oh, you was overlooked in the past, but it's like now no one can really truly overlook you because you you are you have it's like you're a staple figure. Even in your family. It's like even in your family, it's just like you making your own way. You know, you making your own way and rising to a just a level of prominence within that community you have some other communities that you can be a part of as well like even you know religious or spiritual communities that will definitely benefit from your from your place you know just or from your position you know even this could have to do with you know business wise as well or even at work you know like this is you potentially like being someone who's overlooked and now you're moving into getting a promotion like you just embodying this bbe okay bbe i don't really like to say that because i know like <laughs> i'm a woman i don't have that i don't have that you know i don't have that part but it's just like it's just like a bbe type of energy like people really want to be surprised they won't be doing double takes like where this person come from like but I like this for you like I like it for you because it's just about you being so much more assertive and just affirming your 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 space like affirming your position like that's just what I'm kind of picking up here with you so yeah this could definitely have to do with work and it could have to do with family as well um but pretty much the main overall thing is it has to do with your own personal pursuit of happiness. Like you bringing things or not being afraid to go after what you want in life. Okay. That's just what I'm picking up. Okay. And being able to execute on these things a lot much more faster, like making changes a lot much more faster. Not overthinking. So let me go ahead and move on to the energy oracle because I know I be talking I be talking in this video probably already so long. <laughs> Let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Like, okay, so this question is what what new opportunities or insights has this activation brought? Well, I know that it definitely has brought some momentum into your life. Okay. I know it has brought some momentum into your life, but let's see. Okay, yes, we have door to personal healing and happiness. That's literally what I've just been talking about. I've been focusing more so on the pursuit of happiness, like the personal happiness for you. But I love this. This could be a very healing thing for you to 
actually go out there and be in a more active state instead of being passive. So that could be a very healing thing for you. I feel like you'll be surprised at like just the person that you become and how like that that was who you were supposed to be, you know? <laughs> like I feel like the more you get into it seemed like your higher self is definitely someone who is of status, okay? That's just what it seemed like. It seemed like your higher self is someone who is rich and wealthy. You have everything around you that you want and you get stuff done like and you're a leader. So I just feel like you will personally just feel so much more at peace being who you naturally are. Okay. I feel like you being inactive, you being inconsistent. I, I'm not, I don't think that's who, who you're supposed to be. Like, or I, I want to say like who you should be, but I'm just trying to be a little, you know, I'm trying to be a little touchy as I'm saying this, but it's like, I just don't pick up that that's who you're supposed to be. I feel like this transformation just in your own personal personality and character traits is like, this transformation is who you're supposed to be, like through the transformation. And then I also see appreciation here as well. Yeah, very self-sufficient, very independent. That's why I'm saying like, you probably already have something established within your family as well, something that you can do or even something you could do for money now. But it's like, you kind of want to go your, you, it's like going your own way. And so I'm picking that up here as well with the aspect of self-sufficiency. But even here with the achievement card, it's like, this is nice. Is this another indicator of success? I said achievement card. It's appreciation. It's just another, <laughs> it's another indicator of like achievement. It's another indicator of success, comfort. It's another indicator of as far as you just being so happy with the fruits of your labor and just you actually being able to enjoy it you know so i like it i feel like you have some work to do but i think that this is something you're choosing to do like everything that you do is a choice it's a choice that you make so i'm not mad that now you're in your active era and phase in your life like i'm really not mad so I love it. It seems as though just with the appreciation card, which is, I would get as the nine of pentacles, even here with the three of wands, like just understand that everything you're doing is not for nothing. Like I said, get rich or die trying. You're getting rich. You're getting rich. Like, and then we also have blossoming abundance. Like this is nice because this is, things are growing. Things are increasing. Okay. Things are increasing. Like what you want like this is increasing, the energy is moving, the momentum is moving in this direction. So I love that for you. I really do like, I really do like this, the energy of like, you literally shift one thing, which was you getting into an active space, like you shift one thing. And now it's like, now it's like your life is just making sense because you shifted one thing, like you shifted one thing. But yeah, how can you best harness and integrate these changes moving forward? On the bottom of the deck, I see clean it up. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I feel like this clean it up energy already is what kind of was what took you out of the hang one into the night or well, the hangman into the into the night of sorts. It's like cleaning it up through this transformation, like letting things go. This is definitely what got what helped to change you to shed some old layers of yourself and to what I want to say was it got you information. Like it got you information. But yeah, we have clean it up. We have clean it up here. Like, which is definitely really nice. Like, unbeknownst to you, you did what had to be done. Like, even if you didn't understand the assignment at that point in time, it's like you're going to come to understand the assignment as you continue to keep moving forward. Like, because you know how sometimes we might be doing something but we don't understand that like what we're doing is positive and it's actually going to contribute to something else down the line that we have to encounter is like that's what you did unbeknownst to you that's what you did like <laughs> unbeknownst to you like you got out of your own way like that was a, a major thing like you got out of your own way so now i feel like moving forward you have the wisdom to keep yourself in check okay so like what i'm picking up is like checks and balances like you know how to get with yourself and, and get yourself back in alignment. You know how to get yourself together. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And I just, I love it because I just feel like other people are going to just be so grateful for you. 
you know that's why i was picking up a like an energy of forgiveness because it's like you're gonna get the clout that you deserve for the hard work like you're gonna get the clout and especially for not giving up like you're gonna you're gonna get the clout like i promise people will be telling you like i'm so grateful for you like i may not have understood what you were choosing to do i may not have understood it but it's like just looking at your results and what you have done it just makes me so proud it's like people i feel like will be so proud like just so proud of you it just seemed like you're doing a whole 180 change like i i just i love this whole reading for everybody like i really do so okay what's what's being let go okay <laughs> what's being let go i'm using the dark mirror oracle Y'all got today for tomorrow, today for tomorrow. It, yeah, it makes sense. So you could have definitely been dealing with some procrastination. Hey, it happens. But that's what I was kind of picking up anyway. And when you're kind of in the hangman energy for too long, it does tend to lead to procrastination. Okay, it tends to lead to procrastination. But hey, it's like this energy is important because oftentimes we're able to see things in a new perspective. So it seems like you came to some very valid conclusions in this energy and I'm not mad, okay? Very valid conclusions like I've already expressed. Getting out of your own way, not holding yourself back, you know, cleaning, cleaning up this, you know, issues with laziness or inconsistency, not being determined okay but yeah today for tomorrow like that's going away this is like that procrastinator type of energy as well oftentimes like when we're too concerned with the future we start to overthink things and it's like well what if this what if this and what if that i feel like this energy is just it's forcing you to remain like in the present moment and focused on what you can do today you know what you can do today so that also helps with you know, this is the other aspect of procrastination as well, instead of like trying to delay things. Yeah, I just feel like it's always either or. It's like, do I sacrifice my present, you know, for a better future? That's that's the conclusion that you came to. But oftentimes it's just like, or do I sacrifice my future to enjoy today? You know, so it's always that back and forth thing. But for you, it's playing out as far as it's like, look, I got to do what I got to do right now so I can have what I want <laughs> in the future. And I see that you're definitely going to be getting that, especially with the three of wands, like for sure, for sure with the three of wands. For you, it's just all about just letting go of the whole idea of regret and remorse. Like that's not even something that you're going to be focused on. It's not something you're going to dwell on because you just got to get it, you know? So why would you be focused on regret and remorse? Like, I, you would rather try than to not. That's just what I'm picking up. Like, get rich or die trying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, something that you're realizing is like the present and even the future. Like, it's literally, it's, it's literally all intertwined. Okay, it's all, it's all intertwined. So I just think that you all will be making, you know, just smarter decisions to do what you can today because you're understanding how it connects to your future. That's pretty much all I'm trying to say, like, that's all I'm trying to say. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the surrender, the surrender deck. And let's see what is being surrendered. So you all have surrendered the habit of people pleasing. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Yeah, I can definitely see that even with, you know, just expectations and standards that you may just experience from family. Like I'm picking that up or just even from another community. That's why I'm picking up here. But I just feel like acceptance is pretty much on the horizon for you like acceptance is definitely on the horizon like and I also split the deck here and I see surrender procrastination <laughs> so this is you this is definitely you right here I got y'all two cards and it says now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off taking action will attract success so I love that I love that for y'all like I love it 
I keep saying, like, you know, put on your seatbelt, adjust your wig clips, get ready for the ride. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here. I definitely hope that y'all was able to resonate with this reading. I hope it made sense. I know I'd be long-winded. I'd be jumping from this to this to that. But I hope I was able to help y'all today. That's all I'm saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this right here. Definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Be blessed, fam.